What's up guys, it is Bucket Mouth Bass back here again today and today I'm kind of disappointed but at the same time I'm super excited. I'm going to get into why here in a little bit but first off I don't want to tell you all the official news yet but I want to start with the earlier news that happened about a week and a half maybe two weeks ago at this point when I'm filming right now but uh, we actually sold the old boat finally. We sold it for just under $6,000. So honestly, that was a lot of money for that boat. We got it all fixed up and anything and everything. So we didn't sell it uh, broken or anything like that. So don't go down in the comments and start like saying, oh, you sold it broken. We did not, we fixed it all up perfectly running we tested it and everything my last video was where I tested out my Shimano Sitica reel if you didn't see that video I'll leave a link right at the top of the video right now for y'all that was the last time I fished on the last boat and honestly at that time I had no idea that that was gonna be the last time on the old boat we kind of sold it pretty quick I did not think it was gonna sell that fast we put it up on Craigslist but that's not the point of the video today the point of the video is different so I just wanted to start by my truck and build up to the actual point. So if y'all follow me over to my garage, I will show y'all right now. All right guys, so we are going over to the garage right now and this is super exciting. We are walking up there slowly. We're gonna build up the suspense for y'all, but I'm super excited to share this news with y'all guys. Y'all are gonna be super impressed. This happened about a week ago at this point, um, but I haven't had time to film. I've been working a new job and everything and then uh, just been real busy lately, but I really wanted to get this video out for y'all. But without any further ado, please enjoy the footage of this new bad boy right here. Check it out, guys. We got a brand new boat. All right, guys, here it is. My dad went out and bought the Pro 175 TXW, the Bass Tracker, a 40th anniversary edition. Uh, we got a fish finder up on the front, the one that actually came with the boat. And then my dad bought another fish finder to put here. I'm gonna show y'all briefly those in about a few minutes here. I wanna go over the boat and the specifics of what features it has and what I like and kinda don't like so far. We already took it out once, but uh, I didn't wanna film because you know we took out the whole family. My mom was there, my brother was there, my dad was there. Uh, I don't think we took the dog to be honest, but you know, I just didn't want to film because it was just kind of a family thing So I didn't want to be a nuisance But every time I go out on this boat from now on I will be for sure filming for y'all I got a Bass Pro Shop challenge coming for y'all very soon I'm in the editing process right now of me actually being in the store But I still need to get out and fish in that video But let me just let y'all look at the boat a little bit here. It looks super nice. The red color is awesome here um, and then the first day we took it out as a family, my dad actually hit the trailer. He kind of fixed it. If y'all look really closely at it here, it's kind of dented, but you can't see it. He took out my tail light on my truck. I actually have some video, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in the actual video because <laughs> I kind of got pretty mad. But it has a 75 horsepower on the back. So if y'all remember the size of the last boat motor, the thing was like not even half the size of that and it was an old two-stroke motor which smoked a lot and smelled and just ran really rough this thing is like a brand new car guys it starts like a car and it runs super smooth it runs like a luxury vehicle and it's a boat guys so that's pretty incredible um so we got the new trailer the new boat the new fish finders um the new seats the seats i love the only thing i don't like about these seats uh you can't fold them down you can only fold the middle one down which i'm not a fan of but and then the biggest complaint i have about this boat guys the biggest thing for me is the trailing motor pedal it's right in the middle right here so you can't move it if y'all saw my last videos on my old boat i used to move the the foot pedal all over the place to where i like to use it but on this one, it's just right in the middle and you can't move it and it's like right up on the seat. So it's like you have to bend your leg back and it's kind of uncomfortable and you can't move it. But I can't wait to get on this, get out on this thing and fish with it more. Uh, it only comes with the 45 uh, thrust or 45 pound, I should say, thrust uh, trolling motor, which is not bad. It's enough for the boat. Uh, preferably, I wish it came with a little bit more, but it's good enough uh, for this boat. And the big upgrade with this is obviously the motor. The motor is awesome. The transom here, um, it's super futuristic looking. Uh, everything works on it. Uh, it has controls for everything to builds like any other boat would. And 
Another thing I love about this boat is the compartment space. It has a ton of compartment spaces in here, guys. All right, guys, here it is. The compartments it comes with one compartment here for a uh, tackle another one on the other side as y'all can see right there big nice compartments uh, opens with this little latch here uh, has a good amount of space to store tackle not a huge amount of space all right guys so these compartments are good and all but the biggest upgrade that I like when it comes to compartments on this thing is if y'all remember the old boat I used to complain about the rod box all the time it was like on the left side and go check out some of my other videos. I'll leave a link where I'm on the lake and y'all will be able to see what I'm talking about. But it was like the, on the far left side of the boat and it curved. So if you put a rod in there that was like even six foot, it would curve your rod. And I did not like that because my stuff's like a little bit expensive. Even a $50 rod, I didn't like putting it in there like that. But let me just hop up on this thing real quick. All right, guys, here's the rod box. And it opens the seats in the way. So it may actually stop it a little bit. But um, you open it up with this little latch, you just lift it up and turn it like so. And boom, I don't even gotta do any more effort than that. Just opens it right up, has spots for a few different rods. Um, I really like it, it's actually a legitimate rod box. It's not like the old boat where it was just like this little tiny area where you couldn't actually fit any rods in there. I used to just stuff it full of my tackle <laughs> to be honest. But this actually has a legitimate rod box. Finally, on a bass fishing boat, I have a legitimate rod box. But the only thing about this thing is the holes are kind of small, so we have to get some rod sleeves uh, so we can actually stick the rods in there because the guides kind of get stuck. Um, but uh, the guy at Bass Pro said the, the rod sleeves would help a lot with that. So I'm probably gonna be buying a few of those pretty soon. Let me just close this thing up for y'all. All right, guys, and another thing I love about this boat is it's bigger, guys. It is bigger, which means there's more room to fish on it. Right here, if y'all remember on the old boat, there used to be a space like right here. If y'all didn't see a video about the last boat, uh, I'll put a link right now, but there's like a big missing spot right here and there was not a lot of space up at the front. But here you could literally have two people up here without any difficulty fishing. Uh, same thing on the back. There's enough space back there for two people and obviously I'm in my garage so I can't really stand up right here but uh, it has the nice 40 uh, year anniversary tracker sticker right there and the thing just looks awesome guys all right guys so I'm back down here now and the fish finder this is the finder that actually came with the boat right here um, it's a nice little low rance uh, it has like some different settings it doesn't have like side scanning or anything if I can actually get this cover off all right guys, there it is. I'm not gonna turn it on and waste y'all's time, but it has like obviously the, the sonar, the true view where you can actually see like branches and lay downs in the water. And then uh, I do not believe this one has GPS, but we have, uh, my dad bought an extra one uh, to go with it. I'm kind of bugging him to get one with side scanning. Please let me know uh, if y'all have a fish finder with side scanning and what y'all think of it and if it's worth the extra money. All right guys, so here's the second one right here. It's basically like the second one, but it has a GPS or like the first one I should say. It's basically the same like I just said, but it has GPS and it's, it has a bigger screen on it on a few more features on it, but not a big deal yet. I still wanna mess with them more and learn how to use them better. If y'all know how to use uh, these kind of fish finders or if y'all have experience with them, please let me know down in the comments. Kind of new to these uh, little better fish finders. You know, we had a really cheap one on the last boat. All right guys, that is pretty much it for the boat. I'm gonna get a ton of videos out for y'all uh, coming up this summer of me actually on this boat and reviewing it uh, more in depth and what I think about it and what I don't like about it as well too guys. But here's the motor without the cover on it so it's pretty huge. Uh, we got it up to about 40 uh, miles per hour last time we were on the lake so that's like 20 miles an hour faster than the last boat went. And um, so, if y'all like this content or y'all want to see me actually go out and fish on this boat, please go down and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton, guys. And thank you for watching and see y'all when I'm out on this boat at some time in the near future.